irritable bowel syndrome. Some patients come to me and they have the biggest trouble with their diarrhea, constipation, bloating. We call this irritable bowel syndrome. And the main difference between different conditions like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is in those other conditions, people have blood in their stool. And people, when they bleed, they become anemic and that could be life-threatening. Irritable bowel syndrome might not kill people, but it definitely makes their life really frustrating. Imagine if you're constipated all day long without having a bowel movement for three or four days in a row. Well, your bowels get so hard, it's really painful to be able to get them to evacuate. Or what if it's the opposite, where you have diarrhea constantly, where you have to wipe five times, ten times whenever you go to the bathroom, and go to the bathroom multiple times and quickly getting off the road to get to the bathroom in time. These things are very frustrating for my patients. So when they come to see me, I do a full evaluation of a good history, a physical exam, and do appropriate testing. Well, what tests will we do? Well, even though some patients have had a colonoscopy or an upperdoscopy, other tests would be more useful to figure out what's going on with irritable bowel syndrome. And what I see a lot is that people have bad bacteria growing in their gut or bad yeast fermenting their food as opposed to digesting their food. So I often do a stool analysis called a comprehensive stool analysis. We could tell if people have enough of the good bacteria, we call those probiotics. One probiotic is called Lactobacillus acidophilus. And make sure that people have enough of the good bacteria to see if they do okay to digest their food. But if they have bad bacteria growing, we get rid of those bad bacteria by weeding them out. Some people have bad yeast growing and that could cause a lot of fermentation and gas forming. Imagine a champagne bottle with champagne yeast, fermenting grape juice. You're gonna see people blow up like they're five months pregnant right after they eat any carbs. But when I do this stool analysis, I often find the reason why people have their irritable bowel symptoms of diarrhea, constipation, or bloating. And by treating the specific cause, people don't have to endure these troublesome GI symptoms anymore.